This is a really risky video for me to make and and part of me doesn't even want to make this video because I don't even want to draw attention to it, but I think the stakes are too high for people's health. More and more, I am seeing bootleg retitrutide or retatatride pop up on the interwebs. Listen, retitrutide, retatatride, however you want to say it, is not an FDA approved medication. In fact, it's only in the investigational stage in clinical trials. And this is what you need to know about retitrutide is that unlike some of the other GLP-1 receptor agonists that are approved by the FDA, retitrutide has been known and shown in these clinical trials to cause heart arrhythmias. And it's especially, especially at the upper doses. And here's my concern. Desperate people do desperate things at desperate times. With accessibility issues uh, happening with the FDA approved versions of uh, GLP-1s, this is very, very concerning because these are bootleg. Anything that you get that doesn't require prescription is bootleg. Not only that, but ritatotride isn't even approved by the FDA in any form. And my concern is the people who are going to put this in their body could do major, major damage to themselves and not know it. If you see an ad for something that does not require a prescription, run away from it. Don't walk, run away from it. If people start hurting themselves with these research chemicals, what's going to happen is they're going to get lumped in by the media with the safe FDA approved versions. And that's not what this is. But we know the media is coming after these. Ozempic face, Ozempic butt, fill in the blank. As a community, we have got to stand up against this nonsense. We have got to warn people that this stuff can be very, very detrimental to your health and it's extremely risky business. Please, if you know who somebody's, somebody who's considering this, please share this video with them. Please, please, please. We have got to help protect our friends here. I know people are desperate. I know people are looking uh, for answers when they can't get access. But this, my friends, is not it. This is risky. Ritatotride, retitrutide is a investigational medication from Eli Lilly. It is not FDA approved. It is not available even with a prescription because it's not a thing. Do we have high hopes for it? Yes, but let it go through the clinical trials. Let the process work so that you know when ultimately it does get approved, you know what the risks are and you and your doctor can make an informed decision together. If you found this video helpful, please follow me for more content, including content about retitrutide, terzepatide, semaglutide, all the utides. Manjaro, Ozempic, Wigobi, Saxenda, Victoza, Trulicity. We talk about it all here. Follow, share. Thanks.